Good morning and welcome to a vlog. Oh my gosh, it is almost 10 a.m. I slept for like 11 hours last night. <laughs> I did wake up with a bit of a headache, so I need to just get a wriggle on with my day. So I always wash my face in the morning and I've been using the Skinstitute Gentle Cleanser. And then I've been using my Murad Rapid Age Spot Correcting Serum. And that this really helps to reduce the pigmentation from my acne. Then for moisturizer, I've been using the Neutrogena Hydro Boost Gel. And then for sunscreen, I've got this 50 plus face day wear by Cancer Council. Are you ready for this? Oh my. <laughs> Out of control, I tell you. So I got these new toothbrushes yesterday. <laughs> this is how interesting my life is. Um, but I saw them at Woolies. They are new and they're from the natural family. This is what they look like. And I got them because it says they are biodegradable. They are made from cornstarch. Like, what? So they're plastic free, zero waste. So it even says on the back here that you can compost the handle and the packaging. And then you just recycle the toothbrush head. How bloody cool is that? So it was about $10 for two, which is pretty good. And they are so soft. Oh my gosh. Brushing my teeth has never felt so good. <laughs> All right, so I just finished filming. I did a full face using nothing new. So kind of like a shot my stash. On my eyes, I used this Revolution palette. This is the Iconic Division. I was also really impressed with the designer brands Rise and Prime Luminescent Primer. I haven't used that in so long, but I will definitely be dipping back into it. So if this video is already up, I will link it in the description box. I also straightened my hair today. Oh my God. I love it when it's straight. I feel like it has gotten so long. I am going to buy some Bondi Boost um, shampoo and conditioner again though and see if that helps because I compared some photos over the last two years that I've been growing it out and I feel like the first year it grew a lot but it's kind of come to a bit of a halt so I want to see if that will help it again. I did have the urge to kind of chop it back off to a bob but I've decided I'm going to keep growing it and just see how it goes and what it looks like because I've gotten this far already. Why stop? Right, it's lunchtime. I've got some avocado, some feta, and some rice cakes. Nice and basic. A bit of lemon. The girls are actually going to cut Kia's hair. Off to here. <laughs> so um, I'll make my lunch and then I'll go watch them. I have been asking Clinton if I can cut his hair because I watched a Brad Mondo um, like tutorial on how to cut men's hair and I've cut his hair before he's let me but now for some reason he just doesn't trust me rude Here's the gals. I just had it brush straight so I can show you, but it's not straight. But it's not meant to be straight. No, like the side bits are gonna be longer because it sits at the it's front. Not, it goes on an angle. Is it all the same straight though? Like from the straightener? Is some of it curling up? It's yeah, mine. No, show you. Ah! Oh. It's alright. She's good. <laughs> Doing a good job. Oh. 
Do I need a trim? Would you like one? I'll do it. <laughs> you like Tiffany's hair, didn't you? When I cut it? Mmm. I think hair dressing's mm. just a scam. We can all do it. Hair dressing's <laughs> a scam. I think during isolation, a lot of people are finding out that a lot of things are a scam. Yeah. Doing your nails, getting your brows done. Yeah. Yeah. How do you feel? Like a new woman. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly. Oh, it looks good. Thank you. Mm, yeah, not bad. Is. Now, are you playing you can add to... This is going to so sorry. <laughs> you can add to, um, like, plus fours and stuff. You can add to Yeah, you can Oh, you can add to it. So you know how people have different rules. Oh, I hate them. And you can end on any card. I don't care if it's a draw a yeah. plus four. You can... Do you believe that or no? Yeah. Well, today you do. <laughs> <laughs> How many cards I've already got? Oh, I there's don't a make, bug on your face. I don't make <gasps> the rules. <laughs> it's gone? Jeez, yeah. oh, I hope so. <laughs> do you have a reverse card at all? I don't think we're allowed to communicate. Well, well, do you want her to win? <laughs> it doesn't work like that. <laughs> okay. I am still hungry. I might have a cup of tea. We'll dip into some more snacks <laughs> we'll see but for now i just need to do some editing so i recently uploaded a video testing new maybelline products so now i am editing the instagram video for that so i've put some of the clips together here now i'm just going to go over it and trim them down and add some music Okay, so I'm done editing that. It's 27 seconds long. And when I'm editing, you can see it's in a rectangle, but Instagram crops it into a square. So I just try and make sure that everything is in the middle. So for instance, this clip, I know that it's gonna be in frame if I chop off the edges there. So then I just save this. And then once it's saved, I just airdrop it to my phone. All right, so I just wanted to have a little chat about the wedding and updates for that. Um, everything has been postponed and rescheduled. The only vendor I couldn't reschedule was the makeup artist. So I am on the hunt for another makeup artist. The wedding will be in June next year. Our original wedding date is coming up this Saturday. So I have taken off a few days over the weekend still from work because I think it's going to be a weekend of a lot of emotions, very mixed emotions. Um, it's been a bit hard. The other week I had a dream that we were like packing up the car. I was putting my dress in the car. We were getting ready to drive up there. And the next day I was just, just so sad all day. Just thinking like that's, what we could have been doing soon. On Saturday, for instance, a week till the day, I feel like I should have been so excited, like one week till we get married, like all these feelings and I just have to push them out for a whole nother year. Like, I don't know, it's still, it's still a bit hard. So I think once the day comes and goes, I can get excited again for the new date. But until that happens, I'm still quite upset and emotional that our original date isn't happening. So on the wedding day, I want to contact the bridal party and see if they're up for like a Zoom or a Skype call um, at night and we can have some champagne and just have a little chat and have some dinner together as if we would be like when we're up at the wedding venue. I've decided I'm going to wear my veil most of the day. <laughs> just because I can <laughs> yeah I don't know we'll see we'll see I want to I'm trying to like be positive and just like have a good day like it's okay you can celebrate in a different way and just I don't know I'm trying to be positive about it but yeah it's still a bit hard <laughs> on to other things I need to meal plan for the week and I 
have set myself a little challenge <laughs> to not go grocery shopping this week and just use what we have in the freezer and the pantry because I have gone a bit overboard with the groceries the last couple of weeks. I just think with like this coronavirus sitch, I have been stocking up a little bit more than what I need. Unintentionally though, I don't know, it's weird. So I am going to go through the pantry. Like look how full it is. Like I don't need to go shopping. I'm gonna go through the pantry, go through the freezer, see what we have in there because that is like jam packed and do up a little meal plan. I'm pretty sure I heard someone talking about there's this website where you can type in like the ingredients that you've got and it gives you some recipes. So I'm going to see if I can find that. All right. I have got my dinners prepared and I only need to go and buy four things. How good's that? So two of them will be for one of the dinners, but I need some more veg. I have like nothing in the fridge and I've used the rest of it in other recipes. And then I need some bananas because Clinton eats a lot of bananas and some hoisin, hoisin sauce for whatever I'm cooking tonight. So tonight I've got an Asian beef and noodle bowl. So I actually found that online. This is what it looks like here. Yum. So as I said, I just want to buy some bok choy and the sauce to put in it. And then Tuesday, I have a big day at work, so I'm going to pre-cook this dinner. It's just an easy olive pesto pasta using some ingredients that I already have in the fridge, zucchini, mushroom, and feta. Uh, the next night, I have one steak left. So I'm going to cook that up for Clinton with a bunch of veggies. So we've got capsicum, zucchini, corn, to use up and then I'll put some halloumi and some rice with it and make like a kind of like Spanish flavors. The next day we'll have a cottage pie, we've got takeaway, we've got wraps and then chicken fried rice. All right, so I did pretty well. I only spent $20. Spinach, got some veggies for dinner tonight and the sauce for dinner tonight some rice i like to use these for salads for lunches which i really haven't been making for quite a while but now i'm prepared olives and nannies <laughs> think i'm just crazy <laughs> talking to myself about my groceries <laughs> olives and nannies <laughs> all right i got some packages the first one is from sephora kind of already opened her up. I have been hanging out for this release from Fenty of the cream bronzers and blushes. So I got some samples because you can always throw a few in of the youth to the people moisturizers, love them. Um, they also had a sample of the Fenty mascara. Okay, cute, cute. Here's the good stuff. This is actually so small. This is the blush. So I got the shade Strawberry Drip. They're quite bold colors in the pan, but on the swatches, oh my God, look how small this is. <sighs> um, but as I was saying, the swatches, they sheer out a bit. So, okay, I'm a bit shocked by how small that is. Let's go to the bronzer. So I got this in the shade Butter Biscuit, which is the second shade. The first shade was very, very cool. So more like a contour. It's got the same gold packaging like the powder bronzers. Oh, that's better. So this is a normal compact and this is the blush. <laughs> so little. Oh my gosh, I am so excited to use these. Review will be coming soon, of course. And then my next package is from Colette. So in Australia, that is like a bag and jewelry store. I think they're closing down, which really sucks because it's such a good shop. So yeah, they had a massive sale, like no bag was over $50. Bye. So I got a few. Oh, bye. Are you going mums? Bye, bye. Bye. Just dipping into my bags. What'd you get? Clutch, wallet, 
big bag. Damn, you went crazy. How much money did you spend? Not that much. It was only like a hundred. <laughs> That's cute. No, it was seriously like 120 bucks. That's cheap. For all of that, well. right? Do you like your chef pants? <laughs> <laughs> you want to cook? Yes. All right, yeah. Yeah. right, bye guys. So yeah, first bag. I wanted another kind of medium size. Camera just cut out on me. But as I was saying, I was after another medium size bag. <gasps> I love this color comes with a long strap. Oh my gosh, the color of that is so beautiful. So that was originally $40 and I'm pretty sure I got it for 20. Next, I got a big handbag because we all need a big bag. So this was originally $65 and I got it for 40 bucks. Yeah, so it's got a few compartments on the inside. A zip in the middle. <gasps> Ooh, I think this is gonna be my new everyday bag. I prefer a big bag for every day so I can chuck everything in there that I need. And then if I'm just like running to the store or something, I'll take a little bag. All right, what's next, what's next? So I got two clutches, both options for the wedding. Oh my God, this one is stunning. So it's like a pink suede with a gold trim. So this one was originally $40 and I'm pretty sure that was 20. And then my other option is just a white bag. I think it's like crock print though. Oh, it's like suede crock. I thought it was leather, but it's like faux suede. Ooh. And so that's just your typical envelope looking clutch. Originally 29, I'm pretty sure that was 20 as well, or 15 actually, 15. And then, I got a new wallet because mine's starting to look a bit raggedy. I went with classic black. I love this style of wallet. It's the style I currently have where you open it up and you've got some card slots there. I like having lots of card holders and then a zip there. Yes. So that was originally, it doesn't say, I'm pretty sure 30 or 40, but I got it for 20 bucks. And then some hair clips because they were only $5. Mm, how cute are they? <gasps> yes, oh my god. So which bag do you think I should wear with my wedding dress? Not like I'm going to be holding it all the time, but you need a bag. Oh my god, they're both so nice. I didn't think this would really be a wedding vibe because it was like leather, but now that I know it's like a really soft suede material, it could be an option. And pink, I don't really have any pink in my theme, but I just really liked the look of this bag. I thought it looked quite fancy. So I don't know, I don't know. <laughs> yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, okay. All right, so I am starting off by making the pesto pasta. This is gonna be dinner for tomorrow night. So I've just got this olive pesto from Coles. I've got a little bit of leftover zucchini and mushrooms, so I'm going to chop those up to put into it. And I've just got some little curly pasta. And that's pretty much it. I'll put some spinach and feta in it when it's done as well. All right, and then for a few easy breakfasts, I'm going to be making some overnight oats. So I just use rolled oats. I don't really measure, I kind of just throw it in. But I think if you do like half a cup of oats to a cup of almond, yeah, look, I don't know. I just put it in. So I've got my oats. I'm going to do a bit of cacao powder. Just a little bit in each, just to make it a bit chocolatey. And then I've got some chia seeds. So a teaspoon in each. And then I've got some cacao nibs. I like these because it's kind of like a bit of a crunch. So just a teaspoon of those. And then a teaspoon of coconut flakes. And then I mix that all up. I just get the almond milk and tip it in until the oats are covered. 
this one needs a bit more. And then I've just got some frozen mixed berries that I'll put on top and then they just go in the fridge and they're ready to eat the next day. Okay, so I've got my pasta and my veg. And then I'll just put, I don't know, a few spoons of this in. All right, now for the stir fry. I've got the noodles over here just soaking in some hot water. I've got my beef mince. I'm going to put that straight in the wok. All right, so I've cooked my beef. Now I'm going in with the veg. I brought this family pack. It's going to make quite a lot, which will be good because we can eat the leftovers for lunch tomorrow. How bloody good does that look? Yes. All right, well, that is all from me today. If you enjoyed watching this vlog, make sure you give it a thumbs up. I was going to start that puzzle there tonight, but I think I might just go watch TikTok. <laughs> if you're new to my channel, I would love it if you would take a look around and subscribe. Otherwise, I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.